Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm back. We're finally making another video. Um, uh, I haven't been doing much. Haven't had time. I've been making bait orders. Um, you know, I just, I haven't been doing a lot. Haven't been keeping y'all up. Uh, but I, spring break's practically over. I ordered last week a, um, a new mold. Now, it's already been out. You see, if you've seen World's Worst Fishing Video, aka Chris Jones, he has showed y'all the um, tra uh, Shad Tracer, which is totally fine. I don't care. I finally got the mold because I've been wanting it. Um, sometime around next week or the week after, I have two more uh, molds coming in from Fat Guys. There are two crappie molds, and I'm not going to tell you what they are or what they can be because they are really nice molds but very expensive. I also ordered me another thing of plastic because I needed it, and we're about out. And um, if you've looked in uh, Dead on Plastics uh, shop lately, you have seen they have a new color called Brick. I ordered that, so, and, you know, I, know I haven't seen anybody make a video on it. But um, there you go, Brick. Now, I, me, personally, I'm about to, I've never even touched it. It's brand new. As you can see, it's like pure white. So uh, it's brand new. And then I just had to restock me some bl Neo Blue, White, and Black. So anyways, we're going to be testing the uh, the breakout on the Tracer Shad mold and uh, maybe some Cinco's. I'm going to make the color probably 30, 40 drops. And uh, we're going to see how that looks. But anyways, let's get into the video. All right. <clears throat> so real quick, we're just going to shake up the brick. All right, here we go. Shaking it up. I'm going to do 35 drops. Oh, hold up. I might have forgotten to take something out. Alright, I think that was 36, but anyways... Let's stir this up. Oh, never mind. It's kind of looking like the uh, red bug from Lure Works for a second. So this is obviously, of course, it's brick, so it's going to be like a reddish brownish. So I don't know. So I think it needs a, it's a little thin right now. Yeah, so we're going to add a couple more drops. Oh my god, dude, I need this thing to come out of drops, not squirts. I might add a touch of black to it, just to see what it does. But, uh... It's not bad. So, real quick, without any flake. Okay, we're gonna get a touch of black. Another black, probably two drops. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the shadow over here. All right, there we go. Now it's kind of got of a darker middle. Oh, it's kind of like a. It's almost kind of reminds me of scupper knot, kind of. We're gonna try some silver. The only reason why I'm putting my hands is because the fan's on. Alright, let's start this up and see what the silver kind of makes this look like. Okay, okay so the silver just looks pink now. Honestly, it's not bad. Um, guys, we're honestly just goofing off right here, so... And I know I, I, want, it, I want it to look good, too, but... I've never touched this color, so let's add some turquoise. Just kind of see what it'll do. This is 0. .40 turquoise. Um, yeah, I think this will be fine. Now, we're not going to add as much turquoise as we did silver. Let's just see how this is going to look. It's not bad. It honestly ain't. So we'll inject it with turquoise and silver and just kind of see how that looks. 
Actually, yeah, we're gonna let's put a little more turquoise in there because the silver's still kind of outdoing it. Oh, all right, well, now it's definitely gonna be even now. All right, well, let's test it out, see how this looks. Okay, now that it is ready, we're gonna have to create. All right, here we go. First injection into the uh, Anglin AI tracer shed with the new brick cutter. Okay, that's all I do inject. Hot. There we go. This is a flute mold. And uh, we'll do some crawls. Let me get my fat guy's fishing crawl mold. Yeah, I really love these towns and jokers. Helps a lot. All right. Well, we're just gonna give it a second and wait for these to be ready. All right, here we go. Looking at the tracer shed mold. Just gonna zoom out. All right, here we are. The uh, new tracer shed mold. Let's just see how this looks. Here we go. We're looking at it all at the same time. Oh, wow. Yo, this color is actually... Oh my God, guys. This color looks amazing. Let me fix these real quick. Yo, I didn't look at that. Guys, this color is actually amazing. So here it looks brown, but then you turn it and it's got like almost a reddish strawberry color. Like a light, like a see-through strawberry. That looks really, really nice. We're gonna, here, let's take them out and let's look at them. But literally, and then what I thought would happen was here, I had no idea that it, did, it had that. But that looks really good. And as you can see, that um, the turquoise flake and the silver does really nice in this mold. All right, so now that we've done that, let's check our Seacos. Something tells me these are going to look just as good. Oh, huh. okay guys, well I totally forgot that I had a chartreuse tails in one of these molds. Honestly though, the chartreuse with this looks really, really good. So yeah, it looks really, really nice. Not bad at all. Of course, as you can tell, these flukes always do amazing. I don't know why, but it, flukes look good in about every color that I've ever made. They look good in any color. Oh yeah, these are some really nice flukes. Like, literally. So really nice flukes, and now let's check the crawls. And here we are. Yep, these crawls look really good too. I know where these would work, which is my creek. But yes, they do look amazing. I would definitely be making some for myself. But anyways, that looks amazing. All right, we're gonna make a, about another round or finish the cup off and uh, we'll, be, we'll be done. All right, second round right here. Probably gonna be the last. But um, anyways, let's go and get it. There we go. pretty good there we 
go. And I'm just going to make sure that we get all these molds filled. All right, well, that's probably going to be the last of that. But that was a quick and easy video for me to make for the first time in a while. But uh, anyways, I'm going to clean up, and when these are ready, I'll show you all.